So this is probably going to be a stupid little video. Well, hello, my friends. I actually hadn't planned to do a video so soon after my last one, but something came up on Twitter, and I seem to uh, have been one of the first ones to notice it. Uh, before I start, can I get you to throw a like on this video? And if you enjoy content such as this, uh, as well as things like DM advice, retrospectives, and reviews, go ahead and subscribe. I always appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so without further ado, uh, last night I was on Twitter, and uh, in my feed, I saw this tweet right here. Uh, this guy was talking about the uh, the jab <laughs> and agreeing with these woke convention owners like Gen Con, uh, using it kind of as a modern-day uh, purity test. Now, this despite the fact that, uh, you know, the the efficacy is <laughs> dubious uh, for the jab. Uh, clearly, there's no denying that even if you have it, uh, you can still get the coof and pass it on. And, you know, I actually just thought we were sort of getting beyond this um, as a society. Every sane person seems to have moved on <laughs> from the, uh, the dark times of the last few years, except these wacko, ignorant leftists. All right, so that's when I made the mistake <laughs> of checking this person's bio on Twitter. And I was pretty dismayed to see that this person proudly displayed their position as a staff writer for Troll Lord Games. You know, a legendary game company from way back, you know, now prominent in the OSR. And they're most famous uh, for producing Castles and Crusades, a very well-received uh, OSR game. So then I looked to see if maybe that was a one-off, maybe just having a bad tweet. <laughs> uh, but I found a uh, a couple of other um, couple of the other spicy tweets of his uh, that did not reflect well on him, you know. Or um, I hate to say it for the uh, the company that he works for. You know, Tim Robbins, a Hollywood liberal for years, recently sat down with Russell Brand, and he admitted that he bought into the propaganda about the anti-vaccine movement of, you know, just being a bunch of quote-unquote alt-writers, whatever that means. But then he actually went to a demonstration and realized that there were just normal people there who simply opposed unconstitutional mandates and restrictions of freedom. And it kind of caused him to uh, turn 180 degrees. You know, he flipped and admitted that he'd been wrong. But it's increasingly people like Jason Vey who are the oddballs out. Especially as more and more people face the undeniable reality that the shot simply does not <laughs> prevent <laughs> infection or spread. But adherence to the old dogma is a good litmus test for identifying these hardcore leftists. And I would say Jason, from what he's written, uh, qualifies. So what are my thoughts on this? You know, I never really had too many Troll Lord game products over the years. And Castles and Crusades is not one of the OSR products I've investigated uh, recently. So I don't really have a personal stake in this, aside from the fact that I am a fan in general of these alternates to the mainstream, you know, Paizo and uh, Wizards of the Coast. And I believe one user said that this guy has nothing to do with Castles and Crusades. He only works on something like called Amazing Adventures or Star Siege. Now, do I think you should run out and sell all your Troll Lord game products? No, I don't. Unless that's what you want to do. You know, different people have different reactions to being insulted. Uh, let's be clear here, too. He's insulting regular people. And I would say, just set a standard for yourself. You know, will you put up with people like Jason Vey, so long as the woke idiocy does not invade the final product? That's fine. Do you have a red line where any employee that insults fans without public redress from management means that you stop supporting that company? You know, that's fine, too. I guess I'd just say, try as best you can to keep your standards consistent. I mentioned uh, the list on the RPG site in another video, which I'll link to at the end. The list is basically... Um, a grouping of companies by their woke status, either green, which is good, yellow, which is caution, or red, which is full-on woke. You know, and this is another case where something like that is a good idea in theory, <laughs> but not perfect in practice. Because I checked it last night, and, you know, Troll Lord Games sits <laughs> on their green list of non-woke companies that, 
humorously enough, <laughs> is said to <laughs> regularly interact with fans. <laughs> Yet Goodman Games, switching to neutral language in their latest edition of DCC, was apparently the final straw for them to go on the full red woke list. That and a couple of other things, too, to be fair. Has any Goodman Games employee insulted their fans like this? I don't know myself. I mean, I haven't seen or heard anything. So let's see what Troll Lord Games does and let's see how they respond. They can go a long way to reestablishing their place by addressing the situation honestly and appropriately. If they stand by this employee, however, that might speak volumes on how they feel about a certain part of their customer base. You know, in OSR fans, it seems to me uh, sort of skew towards maybe right-leaning independence, at least with independent thought. Now, I'm sure there's leftists who like OSR, but I think we can safely say that's probably not the base of the movement. Uh, they're probably more in the uh, Wizards of the Coast camp. You know, so if Troll Lord is trying to attract those folks, uh, <laughs> they will probably find that a, uh, a fool's errand, to say the least. All right, so that's all I have for now. I just wanted to do a, a quick video on this, and I will make sure to follow up on this for you guys if anything else develops. So you guys take care and uh, be safe. What qualifies you to be a U.S. Senator? You have 60 seconds. Hi. Good night, everybody.